Hi there, Scott Moyes here from Cabro Systems. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to handle um, imported CAD data into Fusion 360 if it, if it looks like it's behaving a bit weird or looks a bit funny. Um, so by default in Fusion when you import third-party data it, it or Fusion's automatically in a um, history free mode. So the big visual clue there is there's no timeline down the bottom. So the first thing you need to do is right click on the top level node here in the browser, the top level document, and turn on capture design history. The second thing you'll notice here that's a big clue is there's something, uh, that there's something wrong with this model is the fact that there's three different color surfaces faces on this model and it's kind of, they're kind of random how they're, they're colored. So that's a big clue that they're actually surfaces, not a, um, a solid model. Second of all, if you expand out the browser, you'll quickly see that um, there's a folder called unstitched in the bodies folder of the component and if you expand that out you see a whole bunch of surfaces surface bodies you can, and there you can see those but kind of like unstitched open um, objects so um, and then there's finally if you were to you might notice this um, you might not notice that there's an issue until you start trying to model something or you start trying to apply some toolpaths in the cam environment um, so if we just try and place a hole on the, one of these faces here you'll see quite quickly that there's some, you know, it's a little bit odd. Um, and if we commit that hole, you'll see that it's just cut straight through the all the faces that it intersected and didn't stitch anything back up again because, well, it doesn't, didn't think it needs to because it's not a, uh, a solid. So we'll undo that hole. Um, and you want to know how to deal with it. So all you need to do is either switch from the model or the sculpt environment, depends where you are, over to the patch environment and use the stitch surface command here. Now something to be aware of uh, are your selection filters um, and so you're probably going to want to have select through turned on and these settings change, um, there's, you kind of get a different set of filters once you're actually in the stitch command. Um, so uh, to see that you can see here this is a lot shorter now so make sure select through is turned on because if it's turned off um, and you window select over your model then you'll see that you don't have you don't actually have all of those faces and all those surfaces selected there's 178 here so we'll clear that out and make sure we have select through turned on and then come back in and window select from the top left to the bottom right make sure we cover the entire model and now we've got 257 surfaces selected. I want to make sure we set it new body and to be honest one mil is way too much so we'll go 0 0.01 millimeters um, and this is showing me there's actually a bit of a gap here and so if we okay there it is so on this particular side there's a there's a bit of an issue with the with the model um, just up underneath here and this can happen you can actually see it really subtly so this can actually happen when you um, export data out of a third-party cam system into some other third-party file format like an IGIS file um, some CAD programs are much better at exporting data than others okay so Fusion's picked up on the fact that there's an issue here and we can actually use this option set max gap as stitch tolerance to change um, change this value now we can see there's no there's no open edges so this is actually rounded up by the looks of things so I don't know let's, let's just click OK and see what we get um, and that didn't actually work because um, we've still got a surface body so let's undo that and have another go window select the whole lot um, for whatever reason this time it hasn't actually found that issue, um, but it's yeah, it's a new body. Um, but we know it was um, less than, from memory, it was less than uh, 0.015 of a millimeter. So let's let's have a go at stitching up and up using that tolerance. And sure enough, there we go. So we now got two solid bodies, and that's it. So now you can go away and. Um, do all your normal work, whether that's CAD or CAM, and um, get your parts made. Thanks for tuning in today, and um, I hope that was useful. Take care. Bye.